now. First alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Yeah, that is a lot of fun to do. We've been there, done that before where you throw it up. Just kind of boom, puffs like that. Look at these temperatures. Let's go out to the west and show you that it is cold in a lot of places because these are straight temperatures. We're not talking about wind chills here. 23 Columbus, 14 in Chicago. Go up to the Dakotas. We're in the 30s. Billings, Montana at 31. But the cold air has sunk on pretty far down to the south. I mean, it's 37 degrees. Dallas right now, Albuquerque. New Mexico at 41. A little bit closer to home, doing teens still right in the Champlain Valley. I think temperatures will draw back some, not as bad as last night or this morning, but it'll get a little bit colder than it is right now. Single digits, big chunk of northern New York, northeast kingdom as well. Right now, Montpelier, it is five. Springfield at 13. Keene right now at 13 as well. I want to talk about the future cast wind here because you're going to find that the south wind is going to pick up a little bit tonight. Right now it's pretty light, meaning the wind speeds. This is seven o'clock or so. We're looking ahead. Watch what happens as we head through the overnight. <clears throat> We've got that south wind and the wind speed is picking up. That's going to keep the temperatures from free falling like they did last night. Here comes your Tuesday. We've got, I don't know if I'd call it a stiff wind, but we've got a breeze first thing tomorrow morning from the south. We'll take you into the afternoon, and that wind speed is going to be picking up. And because of that, along with some sunshine, it'll turn out to be warmer tomorrow than it was today, and warmer still the day after that. Well, first alert storm tracker, we can find a little bit of snow out there. Oh, surprise, surprise. We've got some lake effect snow. As you come on over toward Lake Ontario, over toward Watertown, not heavy duty stuff or heavy snow as the case may be, but there is some snow around Watertown trying to get into southern portions of the St. Lawrence Valley or St. Lawrence County. And if you come on back into the rest of the Great Lakes, yeah, you're going to find some snow out there. The setup for lake effect has just been incredible this year, hasn't it? Well, tomorrow is going to be a mostly sunny day first thing in the morning and right through lunchtime. I think we find a few more clouds around by later in the day. Note the difference in temperatures, though. We're going to be popping up best we did today. Teens, we are shooting for near 30 degrees, even right in the Champlain Valley tomorrow. So this is Futurecast 730 tonight. Not too much going on. Some lake effect snow over by Lake Ontario. We'll take you right through the overnight and check it out. This is the beginning of tomorrow. What a great looking day. Not as cold as it was this morning. I think we'll find a few clouds mixing in by later in the afternoon. Then tomorrow night into Wednesday, certainly not much going on on Wednesday. I think all in all, a few more clouds around the highest of elevations probably a snow shower or two and then a better chance for a couple of snow showers Wednesday night then into Thursday and maybe even a few raindrops mixed in there as well. So first alert weather for tonight, mainly clear skies down around 12 or so, especially as you get away from Lake Champlain just a little bit. Not quite as cold as it has been. It is going to be a pretty quiet night out there tonight for tomorrow. We'll call it partly sunny northern New York, 29 degrees in Plattsburgh, 27 Saranac Lake Messina at 29 degrees tomorrow. I think we find a few more clouds around mixing in by afternoon in places like Stowe tomorrow, where it's going to be 28, 29 degrees Burlington, more afternoon clouds, and the same kind of thing over toward Danville. Temperatures will be in the 20s, but we'll call it partly sunny. I mean, that's a fair bet with probably a few more clouds later in the day in Randolph, 26, Middlebury topping out at 29 degrees, and again, a few more clouds by the afternoon in Ludlow, where it's going to be 29. How about Rutland, 30 degrees, Wilmington at 32 degrees. So five day forecast, we go to 29, a few clouds in the afternoon. Hey, winter arriving on Wednesday, 36 degrees for a high that day. We've got the chance for a little bit of a light mix on Thursday. Some snow showers, maybe some raindrops mixed in, even into the beginning of Friday. Doesn't look like a big freezing rain situation or anything like this. Big holidays coming up this weekend, of course. Partly sunny Saturday, 37. Partly sunny Sunday, 36 degrees. Wow. And then on Monday, we've got the chance for a bit of a mix again and 37 degrees that day.